G'day, I'm Alistair Christie. Today is the 6th of May 2013, and this is a blog post number 18 for LearnDelphi.tv. I should first uh, probably apologise for the... Uh, um, I'm recording on a bright background, so the colour is probably all wrong in my head. Anyway, so the reason I'm, I'm doing that, this is the uh, <coughs> view from my large window, uh, and the um, part of the reason why I have not been doing many videos lately. Uh, and uh, that is because I have shifted house. I have uh, shifted from suburbia out into the country. Um, uh, I've got a five hectare lifestyle block uh, that I share with my partner, Jackie. Um, so it's very cool. So it's one of sort of uh, life goals. Well, I... Yes, anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so the view that you see is part of the property. So I thought I'd uh, have it in the background for this video. Um, so uh, news. Um, firstly, uh, I've released a new uh, commercial video. It's on uh, Delphi REST servers with Android clients. Uh, it's the presentation I did in Australia uh, to the um, uh, Australian Delphi user group uh, symposium, ADAG symposium uh, in Melbourne and in Sydney. Um, so part of the preparation for that, I did a screen recording uh, and uh, I've watched that many times and uh, now you can as well. And I also recorded the live events and the, um, the Melbourne event was, uh, they had a much bigger screen uh, and it came up a lot clearer. So you can see this, the screen more clearly and you can see me. Uh, and I've made recordings of that available uh, in both 720 and 1080p, so HD and Full HD. Um, you can download either or both uh, as part of the all three videos uh, when you purchase the video. So basically we go over um, building a REST server in Delphi uh, and then um, writing an Android client to be able to uh, consume those services. And it, it's, it's fairly, fairly straightforward and after watching it you should be able to um, I think I've covered enough to, for you to be able to have a fairly sophisticated REST server. Uh, and the Android client side, well, if you can't program in Java as yet, uh, it's probably not going to... <laughs> you, you probably need to learn a lot of that um, to be able to, um, to, to uh, make use of the, uh, the client side. Um, but um, it's, it's fairly straightforward and there's enough there to get you started. So, um, yeah, go, go buy that. On, it's also obviously available on learndelphi.tv. Um, other news, uh, Delphi XE4 is available and you can uh, buy it now or you should, should buy now have your, uh, if you're on software assurance, you should have your new license. Um, the MVPs haven't been issued with licenses as yet. Um, I hopefully will get one shortly. I'm currently using the trial, although I have not had much time. Um, part of the reason I can make this video today is the weather is miserable uh, and I'm stuck inside. Uh, sort of catching up on, on various things. Um, so I, I've been cutting a lot of gorse. I, I, uh, if you, I don't know if you are familiar with gorse, but you can probably look it up on um, on, the, on on Wikipedia or something like that. Google it. Um, but it's basically here in New Zealand. It's a noxious weed. Um, it's very very prickly, uh, and I'm covered in, in the scratches in my hands and stuff. I've been using gloves, but the the um, uh, prickles are, are quite can be quite um, penetrating. Um, and they can be quite nasty because they, they, they can um, pierce the skin and break off. And Anyway, I, I digress. But uh, So I've, I've cut quite a bit of gorse. Uh, I've got uh, an inordinate, inordinate amount, large, large, large quantity to uh, still to go. Uh, there are some gorse bushes which are trunks, this, this fat. Um, I don't know how, how long it takes to get that size, uh, 20 years or something like that, maybe, maybe longer. Um, the soil here is pretty good. I think things will grow quite well. So uh, that may have helped it. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm digressing. So the uh, Delphi X is available. Um, I've, I've made one video so far using it, um, and that's uh, making iOS applications. It's classic fish facts, and I used a uh, a grid, um, which is not really suitable for um, iOS. I'll probably uh, do another video with a more sophisticated fish facts in the near future. Uh, I've just got to find some time to uh, <laughs> to make some videos and, and do some learning. Um, so that's um, oh, one one last thing. Um, uh, Nick Hodges um, is writing a book on Delphi, uh, and it's on sort of programming practices. Um, it's going to be sort of aimed at in intermediate 
Delphi developers, but I'm sure even uh, experts will find it useful. I've, I've been um, doing some proofreading on it. There's uh, one, of, one of many people. Um, uh, Nick has a Google Doc available, and you can go find that at um, nickhodges.com uh, and uh, join the, uh, uh, the proof, proofreaders, editors, I suppose. Of that, I've only managed to contribute a, a few grammatical changes, um, and that's about it so far. Um, but hopefully, I'll, maybe tomorrow I'll have a bit more time to, to do some uh, do some reading and commenting. Um, so that that's all all my news. Uh, um, I'm I'm likely I'm probably going to be returning to full time work again shortly. So I uh, might not be producing quite as many videos. I might not produce any any more commercial videos. I'd, I'd like to do some on I iOS. Um, in Delphi, which would be quite good, but uh, I've got uh, much of my spare time is going to be occupied um, with uh, you know working the land. So and there's quite a lot of work to do, unfortunately. But <laughs> but in a way, that's a good thing. So um, I'm Alistair Christie. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope I haven't digressed too much from uh, useful topics, and I'll uh, hopefully see you again shortly with a new um, video on iOS development in Delphi using XE4.